the video here right now and should we lower the lights? Uh yeah, and later I set up a smaller version of the cube so Oh cute. Oh, okay. That is good. Oh, that's good. Uh yeah, turn up this one. <laughs> you don't want a spotlight on you? No, don't spotlight on me. <laughs> This version, but this version is mm. Athens. It's a Roman here, so it's kind of, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yes, if you separate the, the dancer <laughs> from the video, it's like, like this kind of thing. And basically, I didn't have to start a lot of stuff because I got this one uh, a wireless uh, astronomer from the uh, data. And uh, the challenge is I should forget how to connect to the computer, and I don't know how to connect. Document to your stuff <laughs> uh, for a reason. Again, this is a project I worked on in 2006, and I did not remember half of it. Yeah, and I, I just figured out by accident. I just pressed a reset, and I got value mm -hmm. from the... So this all the so way... So she documented everything that I did not document properly? Oh, yeah. So ago. if you got an <coughs> interesting um, I'm doing on this one, you can see on my blog. Um, so you use Bluetooth? Is that what? I yeah, yeah. So that thing doesn't exist. They don't make that specific model anymore. Um, it's just an accelerometer with a Bluetooth module attached to it. So gotcha. you yeah, you have the microcontroller and everything embedded. It's actually the same exact uh, Bluetooth module as the Blue Smurf that Sparkfun sells that we were we demoed in class. And the accelerometer is the same exact accelerometer that they sell on a separate board. They just used to make an integrated version. Yeah, and it also could get a gravity or something. Mm -hmm.